We have an aggressive dog expert out here. This is, I believe, his third trip. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, he teaches all of our academies now. He also teaches, had gone in and, and taught all of our officers uh, after we had our dog shooting. We mm -hmm. never wanted that to ever happen again. Uh, so we went to the the best guy around. He's he's the uh, the fellow that developed aggressive dog strategies from for the uh, Department of Justice. And there comes the dog. All right. At this point, we've we've been warned that there might be a dog present, not necessarily by dispatch, by the presence of toys. Dog comes around the corner, but you have some space here to make decisions. Throughout Nye County, we interact with animals, mm -hmm. and animal control isn't always there. Yeah. So, therefore, people have to be able to read animals. Years ago, we had to read horses and cows, yeah. sheep, uh, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but anymore, it's just uh, it's smaller animals. Well, he's basically teaching alternative actions. Mm -hmm. uh, and only use deadly force when it's absolutely necessary. Yeah. And to be able to justify that deadly force. Uh, up to that point, he is teaching uh, alternate alternate ways of handling each one of these dogs and, and showing different types of aggression because yeah. all dogs aren't aggressive the same way. We've had the Virgil Simulator for uh, several years. I think we initially purchased it in 2007 and for the last probably five or six years it's just been in disrepair and obsolete. Some electrical components stopped working or would work intermittently. So for the last year or two we've been trying to get the funds to get the updated system. Yeah. And with the updated system it comes with a whole new slew of scenarios some of them you saw they uh, got smart and started at including some animal scenarios yeah. and so now there's an entire training module and role-playing scenarios related specifically to am animals as well as the shoot no shoot scenarios the escalating de-escalating dialogue scenarios um, some of the scenarios that are covered they, there's a lot of mental health issues that that are intended to train the students to learn how to adjust their dialogue oh. and their demeanor um, when they're interacting with somebody that That's might have a mental illness. That's important, isn't it? Very important. There's one scenario in particular where a second officer arrives on scene after the student officer has calmed the mentally disturbed individual down and that agitates the situation. Okay. And the intent behind that is to teach them that it's okay to ask your fellow officer to take a minor role in this in this call. I've got this under control. Let me keep this dialogue going. You're agitating the situation. Wow. It's very realistic and even I'm not a great actor and even uh -huh. <laughs> it's hard to not get immersed, immersed in the scenarios and yeah. play along and you start to feel yeah. the energy and the um, sort of adrenaline that goes along with the scenario that you're playing out. It gives us a chance to expose them to these what if scenarios that we can talk about all day long. Yeah. I, this is the fourth academy that I've ran and they always ask questions that you just can't give them a black and white answer for. Yeah. Well, what would you do in this situation? And you have to tell them that with all the variables, I can't tell you exactly what I would do in that situation. And they're left with sort of this gray area that they are left to figure out when they get in the field. Yeah. This helps have it helps expose them to scenarios where they can clearly um, experience some of the emotions and some of the thought processes that go along with these scenarios and then have some preemptive knowledge when they hit the feet, hit the streets on how to handle these things. We have a responsibility as an agency to change the culture of law enforcement in general away from um, using deadly force as an option in dealing with animals and find alternate ways to deal with them.